all right hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish uh, I started earlier so because later we will be live with the brother David Wood and Sam Shamoon so we will be live again around 8 p.m. New York time and we will be live in brother David channel later we will download the video and post it in my channel just to let you know so at 8 p.m. New York time which means if you're in Indonesia I think this will be 8 in the morning for you which is perfect so <clears throat> and I do not know really what the topic and as usual I don't really care because whatever the, the question is we are always ready for it today our topic is miracles in the Quran we spoke about this many times but a Muslim you know Muslims keep insisting that this is a miracle 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 so I said to myself okay you know what let's do it again and again and again who is the Muslim today is willing to give us a call and you choose from all the list we have in the front of us anyone to prove to us that it is not a fraud I accuse that those who made those claims they are making a fraud it's a it is a total fraud there's no single truth in anything there so if you are really truthful and you believe that this is true you are more than welcome my Skype is open any Muslim with knowledge with courage he can call me immediately we are not like the Muslims you know we debate ourselves when the debate by debating ourselves or a Muslim he want to refute Christian Prince he make a video and supposed to get the Christian Prince busted by talking to himself call me and let everybody laugh either at your refutation or at what I say all Muslims they want to debate me but man by not by calling me or you know speaking to me by making a video to refute me and the refuti refutation itself they use is the same same easy way to get them busted which mean try it call me and refute me the same you refute me in your video and show me that you are right and you will see whatever you say to me I will use it against you Islam not only it's a cult Islam is a cult encourage its followers to lie in order to promote itself and this is very normal for all kind of cults you see if the master is the devil why I will be ashamed of lying I will not if Allah is God and Muslims are following the true God so why they need to lie to promote a cult I mean can't your God make really miracles you see the the problem with the Islam is the Muslim they could not find anything in their Quran like Jesus he have uh, he make the blind see he make the, the, the dead come from the grave uh, he controlled the nature even in the Quran says that he created from the mud the bird so he's a creator he is uh, he is a resurrector he is a healer he can even tell you the unseen he can tell you what you think in your mind but Muhammad nothing so what 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 do we would do so we have to create a lie saying that the Quran is full of science and if we try to examine any of those lies we will see in a few seconds that they are a fraud but always the fraud work only with the naive or the silly one if you are a smart person educated that will not work with you so depend who you are and you know how much education you have and how much a uh, I mean let us say some people they accept whatever they hear I mean okay you know like even sometime a Christian they send me supposedly a miracle happened somewhere a Christian miracle I don't really accept right away I say I don't I cannot accept I cannot reject unless I uh, I examine it because uh, Satan can do things too but here I mean this is a pure lie you do not need even to be genius to, to find out that everything there is a lie So who is the Muslim would like to give me a call? Who is the Muslim who like to give me a call? Why Mr. Muhammad Ansari his uh, his text was deleted what he what he did? Guys let the Muslims talk please unless they are using violence or threatening somebody if they are calling me names as long as it's not dirty language it's okay don't block them 
any Muslim, we don't want to be like the Muslims who block everybody from talking. We don't do what the Muslims do. And actually, this is why we are asking, call us. Instead of texting me, texting or calling me names, you know, hey, call me, here we go, I'm here. Show me which one of those is not a fraud. Which one? You choose, you choose, you know, we will go with you. I mean, which one? Each and every single one of them is a fraud. By the way, before we, I forget, somebody said what the word, the, the Arabic Christian, they use when they speak about God in the Arabic Bible. First of all, there's nothing that's called Arabic Bible. This is a translation. The same as you have English translation, Indonesian translation, etc. So if in the translation, the word there is written as Allah, that is the translator who decided what to put there. That is not God. So Muslim, they might say to you, do you know that the Arab Christians in the Middle East, they use the word Allah? Because you force them, they are under your occupation for 1400 years. And the one day of ISIS, you will say anything they want. If they say to you, say God is Buddha, you will say Buddha. Otherwise, you are dead in the spot. So, very funny argument when they speak about, they say what the Christians use the word, you know, our Bible is what Jesus said, not what anyone says. So if in your book, let us say you live in Malaysia, in Malaysia, even they, the, the Muslim, the Muslim, they have a, uh, they took the Christians to court to forbid them from using the word Allah. Why? Because the court, this decision, the court agree with them that this is the word, the name of the God of the Muslims. So why are you using it there? So what the Muslims do when, when, uh, when it is for their benefit to say to you, you can say Allah for God, they allow you. But when it is not for their benefit, they forbid you. So what happened in Malaysia is many are converting out of Islam and they thought maybe because those Christians are using the word Allah when they speak about God, that make, it, make, make Christianity more appeal to the Muslims. So they decide to forbid them. So when they, when they find that the, using the word of Allah is for the benefit of, of, of Islam, they say Allah is the name. Use Allah. You should use Allah. He is the God. When it is not, and by the way, I can show you the news. I'm not making things up. <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. See, this is the news. This is not my news. You see it? Ban Allah on any Christian Bible. So if you are a person who used the word Allah in the translation, and by the way, this is a false translation, a stupid translation, is not real, it's not honest, and the one who did it is a criminal. But do you see here how the hypocrisy work? So when the Muslim, they try to convince you that Allah is the true God, they say to you, the Arabic Christian, they use the word Allah because they are forced to. And if they find that it's not for their benefit, to use the word Allah, they will forbid them. The same as they force them, the same as they will forbid them. When they want, they forbid you. When they want, they force you. So I hope I answered this one who mentioned that question. Now we go back to our topic. The amazing, beautiful miracle of the Quran. Who is a Muhammad? And he have the courage and the knowledge so he can call us and tell us why this fabrication and what is the purpose the one who was or the one who is behind this scientific miracle, his name is Harun Yahya. Harun Yahya. Is the one who come with this fantasy. And just to introduce to you Harun Yahya. He is not like Christian Prince. He is totally different. This is the one who came with the miracle of Quran. And now he is in jail for sex trafficking and abuse of underage girls in sex business. As you see, everybody around him is girls, which is nice, actually. Man, I want to change all those people. He were there. 
I mean, why? Look at look at the one who listened to me, and look at those who they are listening to this guy. I mean, what what's wrong with me? <laughs> why I'm not lucky? Even this guy, he got the seventy-two already. I mean, why he want to go to heaven? And if you see what they are wearing, almost their skirt is not a skirt; it's like one inch, and you can see the panty through. And all of them, they have balloons. It's fake, you know, silicone. This is the guy who came and he made the miracle of the Quran. The first one ever who came with this. A scam. And he is now in jail. So who is the Muslim who agree with this guy? That Quran contains scientific miracle. May they, may they. Mayday, Mayday. Who is the one wanna call us? Yeah, and he have a Christmas tree. <laughs> no, actually, this guy he said, uh, Allah he encouraged Muslim women to wear bikini. By the way, yeah, he believed that Muslim women they should wear with bikini and show their their beauty. And uh, whiskey is uh, is uh, halal. I mean, he have his own way, but. But, but he is for but important for me. He is the one who came but with this all of this cra crazy stuff It's coming from him And since then the Muslim they adopt his movement and copy paste You know and by the way, I think he have a point. I mean look at this Look at this Those are the one should be my, my assistants Unbelievable. Not those who they are in the chat. Look at the one I have in the chat. All of them they have a big mustache and beard. Those are the ones should be assisting me. And that will bring more people to Allah. Actually, if you see <clears throat> all the videos, I cannot play the video, sorry. Because it's really, I mean, it's a, it's a pure prostitu prostitution. <clears throat> Oh uh, Anyway, what we can say his real name is Adnan Oktar Adnan Oktar He live a fancy life maybe have a big yacht uh, All the girls around him they are always like uh, I mean look at this one look at this one Hold on I'm trying to find that's so beautiful brother that is a real dawa that is a real dawa I mean look at this what do you want more and why you will not convert give me a reason you will not convert give me a half reason you have like 10 iPad and anyway True story. <laughs> Look at this picture here. This guy, he have all his girls in the bikini. You see it? All of them, they are in the bikini. I mean, that's the real missionary work. That's real missionary. That's what I do. Losing my voice, screaming, uh, you know, having a headache. I mean, this is the real deal. Look at this. I mean, why I'm not being lucky? Huh? This is so good to be true, brother. All right? And Eva, by the way, all of them, they are fake. So who is the Muslim until now we got no Muslim accepting the challenge who is the Muslim would like to call me and show me any of those to contain real miracle who is the one hmm yeah look this guy who want to talk to him and look who want to talk to me tonight I have a I have a date with the David Wood and Sam Shamoon. <laughs> I mean, what? 
this is the real business here we go instead of talking to David Wood and Sam Shamoon this is the thing look at this look at this brother look man and you ask me why I don't take selfie take selfie with who with me I get scared seeing myself but this guy he have a one million reason to take selfie not only selfie to st to non-stop taking selfie like step selfie 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 he should make a Quran it's called the selfie book me I will take selfie with who huh, here we go I will take selfie with those guys after three uh, uh, four hours from now I mean life is not fair <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Mohammedan? Every single one of them is a lie. Sadly. I say sadly because a human being became corrupt to the point he is willing to lie and yet he claimed to be religious. You see, a person who is religious, yet he lie to promote his religion. I mean, how ugly this religion is. Because usually when we say a religious person, we mean right away or like we understand he is a decent person. He's religious. You know what I mean? Like he will not lie at least. Now all of us we do we, we all of us we do sin all of us nobody is perfect nobody can claim to be I'm not but when I speak about God I mean how I can lie about God and what the per what the point people will get you busted give yourself a face what face Oh, you mean draw myself? No, oh, okay. Well, I, you know, just for the safety of art, because they might ban art if I draw myself. You never know, especially those Democrats. For they, they will, they will make it for safety and security for mankind. They will ban all the art from the world. Muhammad, he banned the art, by the way. You see, all the history you have around you, if it is to Islam, all of it will be destroyed. One of the ugly things about Islam. If you remember when the when the, the Taliban they destroy the statues of Buddha. You see, I'm a Christian, but why I want to destroy a statues for Buddha? What's your business? I mean, at least it's a history. If it is to the Muslim, by the way, during the time of Muhammad, they will destroy all the Egyptian ancient buildings. Amazing buildings. Why? Because it's haram. But because, thank God, at that time, they don't have TNT and C4. Otherwise, you trust me, all of it. And actually, 90% of the, the, the ancient Egyptian art is destroyed by the Muslim occupation. You will see the faces uh, is erased, like they take hammers, and the same as they did in Iraq and Syria in the last few years. All of you, you witnessed that. Islam is anti-anything good. So how Islam is scientific? Any Muslim want to show me? What is scientific about this? And look, look, they keep adding stuff. I mean, even the tank is there. Armor person, even in the Quran, armor person. You believe it? Fresh water, rocket, even rocket crack. I want to see this one. You want to see this one, guys? I did not see this one before. Rocks it cracks. It's in the Quran. I'm going to have a crack in my head soon. What is that? Water, uh, water can it crack? Ah, uh, water can it crack rocks? Well, everybody knows that. I mean, this is this is science now. Okay, let us see what the Quran is saying. Hold on, guys. Let us see. This is in the Quran. Just I'm being curious now. All right. And look, and look, and look how they fabricate. Okay. Chapter 2, verse number 74. This is about water can crack rocks. This is about speaking about how water comes from between cracks, speaking about spring of water. 
how the, 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 the spring of water come from the ground. This is something everybody knows. They make it about Allah speaking about scientific miracle. Other that the crack and water come out from them. But this is not about water are cracking the, the rock. This is about water coming from the ground. Where is, okay, when the water come from the ground, isn't it obvious that the water is taking its way through the ground? Whatever is in the way, dust, sand, rocks, whatever. But by the way, this is a scientific miracle. Nobody know that. Says Pharaoh's body would be preserved in a sign of humanity. Well, the, the 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 Pharaoh he was not preserved in the Quran. I mean, this is a contradiction. Why you don't call me so we can talk and laugh about it? Was really the Quran a book we can trust? Who is the Muslim one to, you know? Isn't it? You know, I mean, when you read the Quran, by the way, you die laughing. And when a Muslim he claimed, that the Pharaoh was saved. Which Pharaoh? That mistake. Because how you can call him Pharaoh if a Pharaoh is not a name? You see, in Arabic, when you say the, you are speaking about specific one. When you don't add the, same as in English, actually. Like when you say the house, you mean certain house. When you say the tree, you mean certain tree. Which Pharaoh? Any Muslim want to call me? We can talk about the Pharaoh. Anyone? Or anything you, you know, a choice you have. You like Pharaoh, you like anything. My duty to get you to get whatever you say busted. Anyone? Nobody? So you are, we are lucky today. What? We are unlucky? There's nobody want to do the, the defense today? Let us go and see the Pharaoh story. First, let us see it here. As long no Muslim want to call. No, I think it's here, isn't it? Where is the Pharaoh? I remember I saw it here before. Oh, here we go. For centuries, it was thought that Egyptian ruler was referred as pharaohs. Actually, the Christian Bible insists Abraham and Joseph interact with pharaohs. However, modern discovery show that cannot be true. Pharaoh is a title given to a ruler in the Egyptian uh, uh, new kingdom, not before. Remember carefully. That's what the Muslims are saying. In the Christian Bible, it says Abraham and Joseph interact with the Pharaoh. All right. So this is not a true. Before the new kingdom, the word Pharaoh mean a great house, and it referred to the building of the court or the ruler. And then here, uh, they are quoting from Wikipedia. Wikipedia, <laughs> and then so when the when we are no Pharaoh at that time, Abraham or Joseph, they were just king. But the Quran did not do this mistake. Any Muslim agree with this? Oh, 
Any Muslim agree with this? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Maybe. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, you know, when the Muslims, they make a claim, I always laugh. Oh, what I'm asking for, who is the Muslim he can call and he stand for what is written in this article? I don't want to talk to myself. Anyone? Is it true what is written in this fraud article? No Muslim. So what we will do? Why you Muslims? You make things you can't stand for it. I just showed you what you. This is what is written. All what you need to do, call me and say I agree. And leave the rest for me. Who wanna do it? Anyone? How sad. So how we will debate now? What, what we will do? Well, you know, he did not preserve the miracle of the Pharaoh. You see, sir, sir Samira, you are not, uh, you know, I, I'm just going with you. Okay, uh, Samira, what's her name? Samira? Samira Saudi. She is saying, let me show you her text. She, she asked me to change uh, this topic. Because this is not what she is asking for. She is asking for this. She said, "Go to the other miracle. Isn't it miracle preserving the, the the Pharaoh body? First of all, which Pharaoh is it preserved, and how it's preserved? Secondly, the Quran does not say so. If you go to chapter of Eunice, chapter ten, and you read it from verse number ninety-two to uh, from eighty-nine to ninety-two." You will see it says that Pharaoh he was not killed and he was not drowned. But if you go to chapter 17, I read it from verse 102, 103, and and uh, uh, Al Qasas and etc., you will see that, uh, like how the the the, uh, the stupidity in the Quran appear. Let us go there. All right. <clears throat> Let us go to Surat Al Isra. All right. Read with me carefully. You are the one who said to me that isn't it a miracle to preserve Pharaoh? So, what is this stupid here? Guys, does it say that Pharaoh was killed and he was drawn? If we go to the other chapter in the Quran, chapter of Eunice, we will find right away the stupid contradiction, how this is, can be the book of God. We go, chapter 10, go all the way to 89. And 90 here the Pharaoh he said uh, he was saved from from the drowning and he uh, he wanted to be convert to Islam <laughs> 
So which one of them is the true one? Are you there, Samira? Which one of them is the true one? The one that says he died or the one who says he survived? He said, I believe in Allah. And then he says, And now, before thou dost re uh, uh, reveal being of those that did corruption. So the Pharaoh, when, when, the, when, when what happened happened, the Pharaoh, he decided to convert to Islam. And he is a Muslim. No, it says he survived. Okay, hold on, guys. It doesn't say he survived. It doesn't say he survived. Let us show you more. Hmm. All right. Let us go to other verse. Uh, we go to a Zuhrof. Here we go. I don't remember which verse I'm looking. Okay. Uh, yeah, here. Let us see. Here. <laughs> look what happened to look what happened to Firo. Let us go. Let us go a little more more. Hold on. Yeah, let us go to 43 and uh, from 43 or 50. Here it says that we drown them all together. Pharaoh and all the people. How clear I can make it more? So Samira, you want to say it doesn't say to drown them all? Talking about the Pharaoh, all the verses about the Pharaoh. And then it says, and because they anger us, we took them and we drowned them all together. Who? The Pharaoh and his men. And the Pharaoh proclaimed among his people, all oh, my people, I do not possess the kingdom, blah, 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 blah. And then what? And because they anger us, we drowned them all together. Still, you will say to me, did not? Can we make it more clear? Guys, does it say so? So when they had anger, uh, angered us, we drowned them all together. Where it says, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the Quran, it says that Allah, oh, hold on, hold on. She is talking about just to show you that how silly the cult of Islam is. In chapter Yunus chapter number 10 and I think she is talking about uh, verse number 89 to 92 let us go there and laugh okay this is a chapter 10 <clears throat> it says we saved you. Nunijika bi badanika, litakuna liman khalafaka aya, wa inna kathira mina nasi an ayatuna ya fulun. Does it say we saved him? You said we saved him, right? Okay. This is your translation, by the way. What is your comment, uh, Samira? The body of the Pharaoh was preserved. She is saying the body of the Pharaoh was preserved. Mm, the body of the Pharaoh was preserved. So hold on, hold on. If the body of the Pharaoh is preserved, what is the name of the Pharaoh? 
You see, your Muslim article saying Pharaoh is a title. So the body of Pharaoh, how you call him Pharaoh and what Pharaoh? Secondly, here it says, not the body will preserved, we will save you. You as an individual. Now let us go and see the interpretation so we can laugh a little bit. Can we? Let us see what this verse according to the Muslims. Hold on. Chapter 10, verse number 92. We open Tafsir. And this is the interpretation of the Abdul. We save your cadaver in its armor, and though may be pretend that you may be listen, such as they do not claim what you claim. You know what, what the what the Muslim they try to do. I don't understand anything what it says here in English, but what the Muslim they try to say that the Quran is speaking about saving the body of the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is saved by doing what 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 they call it. The Egyptian they do. This is not because Allah he saved him. They did the surgery, they take his stomach, they would do things. This is to do it for all the pharaohs, not only one. So this is how silly the Quran saying, We saved you. It's not Allah who made a surgery for his body. All those bodies who you find for the pharaohs are not saved by Allah. And which pharaoh? And none of them saved by because a miracle, because simply they make a surgery. They, they, they uh, put injection of, of a chemical inside their body so they will not be eaten by the bacteria. What does this have to do with your God? Who is the one who did preserve the Pharaoh? It's your God? Your God, he took off his stomach? Your God, he took off his belly? Are you there, Samira? Is that how the Pharaoh was preserved according to science? Like he was taken out by Allah and he was preserved, that's it? Which Pharaoh he was drawn by the sea? Give me his name. Okay, how you say, just to show us, Amira, how silly what you are saying. What is the name of the Pharaoh which is drawn by the sea and he was preserved from the sea? Can you give me the name? And he, how he was preserved? Ramses Ramses was guys Ramses was preserved by Allah Who told you that? Who told you that Ramses was preserved by Allah and as long as his name is Ramses why Allah don't call him Ramses Why he call him the Pharaoh? And how he is preserved, and then Allah, he says, we drown them all. Because if you are drowned, you are not preserved. Secondly, all the bodies of the army of Pharaoh, they should not really disappear totally, because the flood of uh, uh, in the sea, in the Musas, it was not really a, in the deep sea. Those people, they were walking in the ground, and then the sea, you know collapse on them but this is temporarily like for a little time so how they are preserved do the science say is that they found that Ramses the Pharaoh in the sea his body in the sea is that what they say and his body is preserved Samira can you give me what you are saying is that what it says so this is the fabrication of Muslims, and this is a contradiction in the Quran. Secondly, in the same chapter we are reading about, about the, the Pharaoh, 
you will see here the how the Muslims they say stupid things when it's come to their religion as an example was the Pharaoh a Muslim or he was not the Egyptian language has been dead since thousands of years the reason what Allah called Moses Moses because according to evidence everyone back called him Moses not Moses guys at that time everybody called him Musa not Moses Moses this is in English in, in Hebrew you idiot it's Moshe <laughs> so it's not even correct name all the names have to come from the Hebrew and if we ask your God and we ask you what Moshe mean what you will say what the word Moses mean you do not know because it's Islam is a cult what Israel mean you do not know what Pharaoh mean you do not know what Ibrahim mean you do not know what Sarah mean you do not know what Maria mean you do not know what Isa mean you do not know what Allah mean you do not know because Islam is an aftermarket cult so look what she said said according to the Egyptian language everybody there called him Musa, Musa which is the correct way in the Quran according to her where do you get this from there's no Musa exist your God in the Quran think that the one who built the baby loan is the Pharaoh let me show you the Tower of Babel. Your God, he mix between a minister of the Assyrian. His name is Haman, and he make him the minister of the Pharaoh. Here we go. The Tower of Babel was built by Haman, the minister of the Pharaoh. Do you see it? Do you see the history if you go in the Bible you will see the Bible speak about Haman but Haman was in Iraq what Haman have to do with this uh, Pharaoh and the one who built the tower of the Babylon is not the Pharaoh and supposedly this Pharaoh he built the tower so he can go and speak to God and this is the purpose of the tower of the Babylon Is that the same Quran we are talking about or different Quran? Moses was the name given by a newborn because he was only survived as a, Yeah, you know, you are copying from where? Where you get this name from? From the Christians. Show me from your Islamic reference where you get this from. Show me where your prophet told you that. Guys, just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan, she go in Google and she search, and then she got the name. But this is not what your prophet says. Show me. I'm listening. Show me where you get from. Is that from your Islamic, uh, your your prophet teaching, or this is what the Christian says? And there's nothing is called Musa's, and nothing is called Musa. You are stupid again. This is a wrong name. Moses is the, the is the Latin version, the same as Jesus. There's no Jesus. There's Yeshua. So those are because the language does not match with, with the old original language. <laughs> what Musa? <laughs> so look how the Muslim they fabricate a story, try to make it fit with their Quran. And try to make the Quran a book of science and not only that by the way here you notice something very funny anyone notice there's something we said to you before anyone notice the connection between this and something we said before about magic what this tower is built for what this tower is built for is built for the king he want to speak the Pharaoh he want to speak to the God Correct? He want to see the God of Moses. This is the purpose of this tower. But look what happened. In different verse, Allah, He used the same tower to send down His angels. And He decided to open a school of magic like Holy Potter. Do you see it? So how Allah used the tower which is built by Haman 
to send down his angel. Why this tower became the Babylon uh, elevator? So the Pharaoh he built a tower to see the God of Moses. The God of Moses he decided to send two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut, using the same tower built by the Pharaoh. And what is the name of the tower? The Babylon. Do you see it? Are you there, Samira? So the Pharaoh he built the tower of the Babylon so Allah he can use it as elevator to send his angels. And what is the purpose of those angels to come down to open a school to teach magic? Holy Potter. Read carefully and love. Uh, no, no, Samira, it's according to historical evidence too. Actually, you know what? There's a guy, the Muslims, uh, 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 they always say, can you debate this guy with his name? Uh, I forgot his name. Brat, uh, I, I forgot his name. This guy who the Muslim, they like what he's saying, supposedly. He said the most accurate historian book, legitimate book in history is the Bible. And he is anti-Christianity. The most accurate book ever have proofs and, 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 and manuscript is the Bible. And look here. Just to show you how stupid this cult. This verse alone is enough to prove to us Islam is a very funny, stupid cult. Allah, he sent two angels from the heaven. Their name is Harut and Marut, and they land down in the Babylon Tower. And then they taught not any man without, a, they said, we are but temptation. Do not be disbelieve. <clears throat> For from, the, uh, uh, from them they learned how to, they might divide the, the wife, the man and the wife. So what they do? They send people to teach magic. Sorcery. Do you see it? And those angels, they open a school in the Tower of the Babylon. The same as we saw in Horobuter. And look like they came down with the broom. And before you join the school, you have to sign a disclaimer by Allah. And the disclaimer is very simple. You have to sign the following. They taught not any man without, they say, Disclaimer, disclaimer, repeat after us. We are but a temptation. Do not disbelieve. From them, they learned how they might divide the man and the wife. So Allah, he sent two angels to teach people how to make people divorce. Allah, he sent angels to do temptation. I thought shaitan, he do that. So when you speak about history, here we go. This is the history. Haman became with the Pharaoh and Haman, by the way, he have an army too. Not only is a minister. And Haman, he built the tower of the Babylon. But okay, okay, let me ask you, Samira, as long as you are a historian a girl, what is the tower which Moses built? Oh, sorry, the Pharaoh he built so he can reach the, the, <laughs> the God of Moses. I'm not changing topic. It's the same topic. It's the same topic. Pharaoh, one verse he was saved, one verse he was not. One verse he was con he converted to Islam, the other verse he was not. And just to, as long as we talking about Pharaoh, let me show you more, more garbage. According to Muslims, Allah, he sent only Muhammad a messenger for all mankind. Correct, guys? The Quran says, we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his people. And Muhammad is the only messenger. He is a messenger for all mankind. So how Moses was sent to the Pharaoh, as you said to me, as long as messengers are sent only to their people. And Moses was a messenger for the Jews. Isa was a messenger for the Jews, as Muslims they claim. But the Quran says that Allah, he sent Moses to the Pharaoh. So who is the stupid here? Was Moses a messenger for the Pharaoh or he was a messenger for the Jews? Not only Moses was a messenger for the Pharaoh. Aaron, his brother too.
Hmm? What do you say? Any Muslim want to answer? Moses, he came to the people of Pharaoh and says, believe, you have to become a Muslim. I thought Moses is a Muslim, is a, is a prophet for the Jews only. Any Muslim? Read carefully, guys. Then we had sent forth after them Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh. And we send them our signs. So Moses was sent to the Pharaoh. Which means everything the Muslim they say about Moses was a prophet for the Jews only is a lie. Because as you see, he was sent to the Pharaoh. And here, look what has happened. When we read the stories in the Quran, you will find how Muhammad he judge, he, he jump from a place to a place with no connection. If you read verses before and verses after, you will see there's no connection. In the verse number 90, it says that the Pharaoh he followed them and his army. And it says, we drowned him. Muslims. Isn't it, this is total contradiction for other verses where it says Allah, he did not drown him and he saved him. So the Muslim, what they would do, they say, "Oh, we have, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, Pharaoh uh, bodies exist in the museum. Allah saved the Pharaoh. Which Pharaoh? And those are not saved by Allah. Those are saved by a surgery. And they are not saved, by the way. Even those bodies are not totally saved. I mean, what's saved? Like there's, there's, like there's little skin in the body. You're a prophet himself," he said. Let me show you as long as you are talking about this the miracle you're a prophet he said that the prophet of allah their body will not be consumed by the by the ground by the earth and then we find the reference in islam says by ibn abbas by by uh, 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 omar and etc and those are like the big leaders is speaking about muhammad his body decay and his stink so Allah, he preserved the Pharaoh. He keep his promise, but Allah did not keep a promise for Muhammad, where Muhammad, he lied openly saying that we prophets of God, the earth is forbidden from consuming the body of the prophet, which means we should find the body of Moses too. We should find the body of Adam. We should find the body of 125,000 messenger according to Islam. If we go in the hadith, we will find that all the Muslims agree that the prophet body stink and his, it says, batnuhu, which means he start farting from the gas. His, his, his belly became like a brunette woman. And this is why the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days, three nights. Hoping maybe he will come back like Jesus because he made a promise clearly that he is God, he is going to live, even he is dead. The earth cannot eat his body, so they did not bury him, they left him in the bed of Aisha as he is. The first day, the second day, and the stink is all over. So, Ibn Abbas he said, It finu sahibakum kama al bashar. And let us show you the reference so people will not say we are making things up
This is the website. This is the website of Ibn Abbas, and this is the hadith. Read and love. Ibn Abbas says, Al Abbas said, the uncle of Muhammad, he said, and he stayed three days before they bury him, and he was putting his hand over his nose. He was putting what? His hand over his nose. When he entered, he put his hand over his nose. And he said, عَجِّلُوا بِدَفْنِ صَاحِبَكُمْ وَاللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَيَأْسَنُ كَمَا يأسن البشر. وهذا الحديث صحيح Let's see Translation Google translation It's not perfect translation But we will use it Here we go So Al-Abbas he entered The uncle He entered upon him When he And he died And he stayed for three days he stayed for three days okay and he said like here it doesn't show that he put his hand over his nose uh, I should say here anyway he stayed for three days without burying him he says hurry up bury your friend translation is funny here for he stink the same as all a human they stink Are you there, uh, Samira? So Allah, he saved the Pharaoh body, as you claim, but Allah did not save the body of Muhammad. Look like the God of the Musas is not the same as the God of, the, of, 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 of Muhammad. Correct, guys? Obviously, the God of Muhammad is not the same God of Musas. Mahdi is saying this is a fake hadith. Mahdi is saying this is a fake hadith because this is Sunni. No. Is the hadith of the Shia is better? The one who says if you will, if you wear yellow shoes, if you wear a black shoes, your penis will not work. I mean, shut up, you are a Shia. At least the Sunni they have a little like a ninety-nine percent stupidity. You Shia have one hundred percent stupidity. Like supposedly is better. Like I'm Shia. Hmm? Who, where is the Muslim Sunni? Okay, where is the Shia? Okay, Mahdi, why you don't call me Shia? I will switch the topic to call Shia. And I will make people die laughing at your Shia. What do you say? Do you accept? Or you are just here to play like in the bushes? Science of the Quran, science of the Shia, science of the Sunnah. What do you want? Hmm? Any Muslim? Science. Let us see some of the science of the Shia, as long as we have Shia in the chat. Which one I should quote for you? I mean, all of them, they are crazy. What about if you eat a cheese every first day of the month? Allah will never reject your uh, your prayer and he will, op he will give you the keys of heaven. For eating cheese, if you eat a cheese, Every beginning of the month, Allah will not. I mean, this must be true. Let us see. This is your Shia. The Prophet of Allah said, Eat cheese. Eat cheese. It makes you sleep. 
and make you digest the food. Imam al-Sadiq, he agrees, says Naam, and he says, uh, 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 a bite of, of cheese, make your mouth uh, uh, like uh, delicious, uh, with tasty, like your, tasty, your, your mouth will be tasty, and digest the food. And then he says, and whoever eat the cheese every beginning of the month, his his prayer will never be uh, uh, re uh, like rejected, and uh, Allah will uh, will give him the keys of the heaven. And here, actually, in the page, I think the page after it says about the keys. And here, the reference in front of you. Hmm? What about drinking the piss of the imam? The piss of the imam. Let us find this one. Hold on. Shia, you are Shia, I suppose you are better. So the Shia, they believe that the, their their uh, Ali and his kids, and kids not only the even the Imam their Imam they are holy to the point they can drink their piss they can drink the piss of Al Khomeini read with me carefully this is Shia the Shia website and they are asking is it true that we can drink really the piss of the Imam let us translate to English. The piss of the Imam and their feces is the reason to enter paradise. Do you see it, Mr. Mahdi? Mr. Mahdi, are you there? The reason to enter heaven is the piss and the feces. Drinking the piss of the Imam and eating the feces, the poo, poo of the Imam is a reason to go to heaven. Did you eat enough, my friend? I hope you will order some order from Amazon before it's too late. Because all what you need to do, drink the piss of Al Khomeini and eat his poo poo. For sure, it's strong. I mean, okay, here we go. Is it strong? Guys, is it strong? Is it strong? <laughs> this is a religion which is made. Look, and the question alone is enough to prove Islam is false. Because how we can follow Islam if this religion teaching is not preserved? And each one he makes his own decision to say this is strong, this is weak, this is garbage. This is garbage cult. And ask yourself how you accept it even to be in your book. Doesn't matter if it's strong or not. How you accept this to be in your book? This is what you believe. And look, the answer, guys. He says the urine of the Imam does not have any dirt. You see the translation here, and they, they are not stinking. Guys, the, they are not dirty. There's no dirt and there is no stinking, and there's nothing bad in the in the, in the poop of the Imam. This is the most this is the Imam answer. This is the sorry, the, this is the hadith. Let's go to the Imam answer. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, why you are surprised sister why you are surprised we should not be surprised to prove that the people of the house are the best of the creatures because they don't have dirt they are not dirty they don't have dirt they smell like musk what are you talking about sister this is the girl she is asking her name is Fatima She's asking, is it right to drink the piss of the Imam? You check the sand. This is you in front of you. This is the reference in front of you. Don't stop being stupid. Hadith al muharar Variant number one, page number three, four, four. A demand of the purity of his 
urine may Allah bless him and his family <laughs> by the way this is Sunni too the Sunni they believe that you can drink the piss of the of the Prophet it is it is it is pure it is holy so this is not only Shia Shia and Sunni they believe in the same thing Who is a who want to convert to Islam? And look here, like for sure, brother, the Imam didn't have, you know, didn't have uh, dirt in their piss. Are you, are you kidding me? And their their piss is holy piss. It's like musk. Do you see? Do you see this? This is a stupid Google translation. Even there, it's appear. It are like, but they are like musk. Do you see it? The urine of the Imam and their feces are cont uh, I don't know, translation here, and they are not stinking nor dirty, but they are like musk. Ah, oh, brother, unbelievable! And this is what you do: you drink the piss of the Imam. What about the the, the piss of the Prophet? You worship it. Those are not the Prophet. Those are just an imam. Now, who is a Muslim when I call me and show me one science and the Quran? Until now, we saw nothing. Shia, Sunni, same stupid things. Show me the hadith from Al Kafi. Okay, so now if I show, if I show you something from Al Kafi, you will not cry? Guys, show me from Al Kafi. Supposedly, Al Kafi will. Will do the job. <laughs> I mean, those she yeah, are very funny. Show me, show me from the cafe. Why you don't show me from the cafe? I want to see you from the cafe, brother. Okay, if I show you from the cafe, are you willing to leave Islam? Hmm. Show me. Why you don't call me, Mahdi? I think it's going to be interesting if you call us because usually the one who call us is Sunni. What do you say? <coughs> call us. And I will show you all the hadith. I will show you when you call me only from Al Kafi, as long as you like that. What do you say? Anyone? <clears throat> Let us go to Al Kafi. <clears throat> as long he asks for Al Kafi, customers come first. All right. Are you there, Maddie? And we will not change topic. We will focus in piss and farting and etc. Read with me, Al Mahdi. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. This is the book of Al Kafi, volume number one, page number 388, as you see in the screen. The signs of the Imam. What is the signs of the Imam? There's signs. Okay. The Imam, he have 10 signs. He will be born circumcised. And he fell in the ground, he fell in his ass. Saying the Shahada. And he never get dirty when he have orgasm. Which means if you have sex, his sex, his sperm is like perfume. And his eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep he never do yawning and he never what they call it like not like when you yawn like uh, you know it's like your you know your body like uh, what they call it in english uh and he can see his behind as he see what he's in the front and 
the the poopoo his poopoo smell like misc and the ground will swallow it do you see it uh, uh, mahdi this is al kafi do you see it are you there here we go i will uh, I, will, I will use google translation now what we can do i mean we have to use google translation which is not right but it's okay He said, the Imam, he has 10 signs. He born circumcised, not a cleansed, <laughs> sealed. <laughs> and he feel in the ground, he feel comfort, he fall in his ass. Uh, uh, raising his voice saying Shahada. So each time he fell in his ass, he said, I mean, that would be funny boy, by the way. So he's, he's going like, when he failed, he fell in his ass right away, he say, I said, la ilaha la ilaha la ilaha. What the heck? And then, and he sleep. His his eyes sleep, but his heart does not. And he does not yawn, or he does not scratch his like uh, stretch stretch his body when he yawn. And he can see what is in the front, the same as he see what is in the back. And his poo poo smell like musk, and the ground eat it. <laughs> Yummy. Are you there, Mahdi? Are you there, Mehdi? What happened to Mehdi? Mehdi was laughing at the sh at the sh at the Sunni. Say the Sunni are stupid. Oh, you go. This is the Shia. And this is Al Kafi. You are you stupid or what, Mehdi? You are the one who said to me, "Show me Al uh, Show me Al Kafi. <laughs> show me the Senate." <laughs> I mean, this is a this is a religion of stupidity, and now you want to show me, show me the the proof. I just showed you the proof. You are you are the one who said to me, show me from El Kafi. Hello, show me the proof. I thought you you asked me for El Kafi. And not only by the way, when the Mahdi he come back, he will be naked in the front of the sun. Is that right? Naked, totally naked, he will appear for us. All right. <clears throat> any Abdul so now until now we did not find anyone to show us what they are talking about in those what they call them scientific miracle not a single one of them is true the God of Islam he think the one who built the Babylon Tower Is the Pharaoh and the God of Islam used the Babylon Tower to send his angels to teach magic and the God of Islam he think that the name of the king of Egypt is Pharaoh this is why Muhammad he says Allah he married me to the sister of Pharaoh some they say this is his wife even the wife of the Pharaoh you want to sleep with her Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, we have a we have a Muslim here. Look what he's saying. Just to show you how Muslims the this ability. He says you are insecure about your belief. This is why you spend your time attacking on attacking Muslim Islam. Well, that's mean Muhammad himself is insecure because all the Quran from chapter number one is about attacking the Christians. So I'm going to use your logic. If Muhammad was secure, why he says kill the Christians and the Jews? If Muhammad is secure about his religion, why he said, 
to 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 take not Christians and as Jews and the friend chapter 5 verse 51 why he says the Christian are the worst of the creatures why he says we are nudges so according to you the one who is insecure is the one who attack others thank you very much I never attack Muhammad until he attacked me so you just approve to us that your prophet is an idiot he's insecure and all of Islam is based on attacking Christianity and Judaism what do you say so when the Quran says that the Christians are liars the Christians are fabricator the Christian the Christian are kuffar okay hold on guys look at this look at this look at this because your Bible says tens of different events God order in the Bible to attack every creatures in the town you foolish idiot about share good God religion okay why you don't call me and share with me the verses in the Bible it says that and I will show it to you from the Quran as long as this is ugly and if I show it to you from the Quran that's mean the Quran is ugly because you forgot Abdul that all your religion is a counterfeit of Judaism and Christianity and other belief and by the way this is not our topic we're not talking about attacks now but no problem you are welcome if I show you that even Allah he ordered the Jews to kill every Palestinian what you will do And the Jews that refused to kill, so Allah He punished them and He made them lose their way for 40 years. Here we go. Chapter of Al Ma'idah, verse chapter number five, verse number 21. Allah He told Moses, O oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah, Allah, not God, the word says He Allah, has prescribed for you, assigned to you. The Musas, they said, the Jews, they said to Musas, no, we would not enter it. You enter it, you and your God. Only two Jews agree with Musas to launch war and do jihad. Do you see it? Only two Jews. Just two. And the Quran described those two men are blessed by Allah. They are true believers. They said to Musas, we will never enter it as long there are there. Go forth, you and your Lord, and fight. You and your Lord go and fight. That's what the Quran says. Are you there? And then because the Jews refused to kill the Palestinians, Allah, he made them lose their di the direction for 40 years in the desert as a penalty. The Muslim, they say that the Jews... They are attacking, by the way, the Palestinians are not those you see today in Gaza. Those are not Palestinians. They have nothing to do with the Palestinians. They have nothing to do, not even close. So the Quran saying that Allah, he ordered the Jews to do genocide and kill everybody who is a Palestinian and take the land because this is Allah assigned land to the Jews. Do you see it? Allah assigned this land and here the funny by the way the Muslim they say to you the Jews occupy the land our land the land of the Arab What Arab? there was no Arab at that time there and nobody speak Arabic there hmm do you see it Call him. Who? Give us your Skype. I will call him. <clears throat> yeah, those are those people are not to do with the, with the Palestinian. What Palestinian? Even when the Muslims they enter into the land, there's not a single Arab there. All those Christians who they live there, they speak Aramaic. But as you see, whatever Muslim they want to say, this is a land assigned by Allah to the Jews, and He is the one who told them this is, a, 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 and He called it holy land. Why it's holy? Any Muslim can tell us why this land is holy? 
Okay, hold on, guys. Just to show you how silly the Muslim argument. Paul, they attack Paul again. What if I show you Paul in your Quran? You idiot. What you will do? What you will do? Do you promise me to do the monkey dance in the camera if I show you Paul in your Quran? Look how they jump like monkeys from a place to place because they can't answer. He tried the first one, did not work. The second one did not work. The third one. Do. So now we go to Paul. Okay. What if I show you Paul in the Quran and he is not only a messenger, he is the most powerful messenger of God. What you will do? Hmm? What do you think? Do you have a deal? If I show you hadith and Quran, hadith and Quran and interpretation, and you choose for me what scholar is yours, what then you give me the name of your favorite scholar, brother. A brother show us the name of Paul in the hadith or Quran. Ah. Show me the name of Jesus in the hadith of the Quran. There's nobody. What is that? Now let me show you. Here we go. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. <clears throat> this is a chapter 36 and I will put it in the screen in a second <clears throat> and this is the book of Ibn Kathir try not to laugh with me at the Muslims attacking Paul this is your book not my book this is your scholars, not my scholars, and this is your Quran. Allah prays in three messengers were sent to the city of Antioch in Turkey. Do you see it? Who are they? The messenger was sent to Antioch. Let us see what the Muslims believe. It says here, read carefully. The messengers were the first two messengers were Shamoon, which means Simon, Peter, and Yohanna, which means John, and the name of the third Bolos, which means Paul. And the city was Antioch. So every idiot, his name is Didat, because most of them they copy, by the way. They copy Didat what he said. But Didat he is he don't know anything about Islam. And they're proven in front of you. It's in the front of you. Read it. Do you see it? Do you remember, guys, a guy who called me? He said, I am a, a friend of Zakir Naik as an Indian guy. Do you remember? And I told him, okay, what what uh, what uh, interpretation you like? He said, I don't want Ibn Kathir. I want uh, Mujahid. And I got him busted. I showed him. It says, this is Paul. Do you remember? The potato from, from India. I'm a friend, by the way, of Dr. Dakanaik, and I decided to call you, and I'm going to get you butted. And I say, like, oh boy, Dakanaik, a friend, is calling me. That's good. That must be good. I turned you to tell me the reference for what you said from the interpretation of Mujahid. Okay, let us open Mujahid. We open Mujahid for him, and we show it to him. I said, this is not Mujahid. This is Mujahid, you idiot. It's in front of you. This is not uh, Mujahid. This is Mujahid, you idiot. Read it. I do not know how to read. Shall I squeeze you? Who's next? Who want to attack Paul? And by the way, here you prove to me that Jesus is God because how Jesus, he can send them as messengers unless he is God. Correct, guys? As long as the Muslims agree that the three messengers are Shamaon, Simon and Yohanna John and Paul Bolos. Okay, and those are the messengers of the Messiah. So how the Messiah can make them messengers unless he is God? A messenger cannot make me a messenger. He have no authority. A messenger is sent only from God. What do you say?
Next, who is the next victim? Now we go to the fraud. Who want to show us a scientific miracle on the Quran? Who is a Muslim is willing to show us a scientific miracle? By the way, remember, guys, today, after exactly three hours from now, I will be live with the brother David Wood and Sam Shamoon in his channel, in the channel of David Wood. Later, I will download the video, post it in my channel if you miss it. Show you Tafsir al Qummi. So, suppose Tafsir al Qummi will do better. Why you don't look in the Qummi? Why you ask? Why you asking me? Show me. I mean, look how the Muslims are lazy. You sh show me. You open it. I read. Call me. I read for me. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. Show me. Why somebody told you I'm your servant? <laughs> show me. <laughs> what what about you tell me what al qummi said so we can laugh together brother what do you think because the shia by the way their interpretation is very funny and i love it so me uh, al qummi okay like is al qummi uh, someone you are proud about and if we show you are you going to regret are you going to cry are you going to say goodbye are you going to say I leave Islam? So what 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 will happen after I show you? I know what you will say. I you will say I don't accept him. So why are you asking me to show you Al Kumi? Because simply we play games. We just we will keep asking you to show us, and it doesn't matter what you show us. We saw nothing, right? We saw nothing, brother. Show me. <clears throat> Any Abdul? And by the way, even Al Qummi he confirmed that the city is Antioch. And all of us we knew that the first place where the Christians were called Christians is Antioch. Mahdi, Mahdi A, is that your name in your in your Skype? Your evil door reject God, final messenger sent. You see, Yahya, you have to prove to me that your prophet is not evil doer. Is your prophet a good man by marrying a child? A Muslim accuse us that we are evil doer. Is your prophet evil doer or good doer by asking you to kiss a black stone? Was your prophet an evil doer or good doer by saying to his son, "Give me your wife, or else"? Was your prophet a good prophet of God when he flirted with his own son wife? Look what this guy he said. Who is the evil doer? And what is the proof that Muhammad was a messenger? And what is the message? The message is, if the prophet, his eyes fail into your wife, you have to give her to him. The message is, the best of the booty goes to Muhammad. The message is, any woman with prophet he like to have sex with her, she is his. The message is, that Allah gave the power to Muhammad of 40 men in bedroom. What is the message of your prophet? Do you like to call me Mr. Yahya? Do you like to call me? Is that the message of Allah? The message of Allah, if you give Muhammad money, Allah will forgive your sin? Muhammad was asking people for a loan, claiming that if you give a loan, which is to the pocket of Muhammad, Allah will forgive your sin. Is that the message of God? God, he need a loan? Who is the one who need the loan here, Muhammad or, or, or Allah? Are you there, Mr. Uh, who is the one who need? The loan. 
your God or Muhammad? Hmm? Who need a loan? And what kind of God, if I pay him, he forgive my sin? Is that the message? We can bribe God? Is it the message that if we touch stones, Allah will erase our sin? Yeah, I text, I texted the guy. You sent me his, uh, he did not answer me yet. We added him and we text him. His name is Musa Abu Suleiman. But he did not answer yet. Let us call him. Here we go. He is not answering properly. He is a kid. Who is next? You can say whatever you want. No, I'm not saying whatever you want. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. You are the one who cannot answer to what I just said. Is it true that your prophet, he promised people heaven if you give him money? Or I'm lying. Isn't it the same chapter, chapter 36, is speaking about the messenger of Jesus, says, follow not those who ask you for wages? So how Muhammad, he asked for wages? You want Al Qummi Abdul? Okay, here we go. This is Al Qummi. Are you happy now? Here we go. The city is in, 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 in Turkey. That is the city where the Christians they went. The first city became a Christian. Do you see it? This is Al Qummi. Are you happy now? So even your Shia Tafsir get you busted. So what what is next now, Mahdi? Here we go. We show you Al Qummi. Show me, show me, show me, show me. We showed you. Here we go. And we don't need to mention Paul. That's it. The city is Antioch, and those are the messengers of Jesus. That alone proved that Jesus is God. You tell me the names. Shouldn't you ask your God who are they, those people? I mean, what kind of a book says we send the three messengers, but he never said their names? Don't they have a name? I mean, guys, look how silly the stupid book of the Quran. Allah, he said, we send the three messengers. Okay, who are they? Where? Which city? Which land? Which language? Which, which century? Which people? They don't know. So what they do, they start guessing. And then they will, they will ask me, uh, it doesn't say Paul. No, it does. By agreeing that this is the city of Paul, this is the, the this is the interpretation of the Shia, you agree that those are Paul. Let's only need to say that clearly. Hello? Hello? Yes, Abdul, how are you? Yes, you are uh, uh, me. You can really speak, speak, uh, you know, I, I know you, you, you call us before. Speak fine, you know, don't play like a kid. What do you want to say? Yeah, mm. but uh, I have to go now, sorry, but I'll call you next time, okay? Why? Because I have to go now, sorry. So why you call me now? Because I, I just got uh, the message that I have to go. Ah, uh, you got the message I have to go. Oh, okay, there you go. Let me block you. Any Muslim? He got the message now, he have to go. Hmm. Who's next? Uh, so Al Qummi doesn't say this is Paul. <clears throat> doesn't matter because you do not know. That is showing ignorance, not showing knowledge. If he cannot tell us who are the, those scholars, uh, who, those messengers, how he can explain who, what city? I mean, look, guys, look at the stupidity of the Muhammadan uh, 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 scholars. Al Qummi, how he discovered that the city is Antioch? 
How we how where can you get the story from? The Quran never say anything. Here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. When they want, they say we accept. When they want, they say we don't accept. Right? Let us see. <clears throat> this is the Shia. Are you happy, uh, Mahdi? This is Tafsir al Tabrasi. It's a Shia. Look what he said a disaster. He says the three messengers are the messengers of Isa, and the city is Antioch. Do you see it? The city is Antioch, and those are the three messengers of Isa. How Isa is a messenger, he sent messengers of God. Mm. Only Al Qummi is the one you accept. Uh, okay. Only guys, he don't accept anyone, he accept only Al Qummi. But Al Qummi confirmed, he agreed with them. He did not say this is not Paul. Did Al Qummi say this is not Paul? No, he agreed with the rest. If you did not mention the names, that will not change anything. Any Muhammadan? And as you see here, they mentioned the word Shamoon. This is Simon. All right. The city is Antioch. And here he said, Simon Peter is the head of the disciple of Jesus, was sent. Do you see it? This is your Shia book. So Shia books, Sunni books agree that those are the messengers of Jesus. I cannot believe the state you will be sent to Christian to Christian Prince. I feel so bad for you. You will be sent to humiliate him fire and feel bad. Don't worry about me. I feel sorry for you in the heaven of Allah. You will be a sex toy for a man. He will never stop having boom boom with you. This is the biggest humiliation for a woman. In the heaven of Allah, you have nothing to do except bending over. And you are worried about me? Worry about yourself. Let me show you what your prophet, he promised you in heaven. As long as you are, you are sorry for me, I don't want to go to your heaven. Your, you know, your heaven is hell. Yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I feel sorry for you if you are a male or a female. If you are a male, you cannot even sleep. Because how you can sleep with such a penis? Your private part will be standing up like a column forever, and it is endless. Do you see it? Is that a reward? I'm not making things up. I'm showing the reference. Guys, am I making things up? Where is where I'm making things up? Did I make things up? It's in front of you. The Messenger of Allah swearing, saying, There is no whom, no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the holies and 70 from the inheritance of the people of hell. Allah will import a special prostitute from hell. Why they are in hell? Because they are prostitute. But because they are prostitute, they are very good in business. You know what I'm talking about. So he will, in, those are inheritance from hellfire. Whom not only anyone, only those, only women who have nice boobs and nice private part. Do you see it? This is God talking. Allah will go to heaven and he will start. Hey, hey women, take off your panty. Uh, your vagina is not good. Next, yeah, and your breast. Okay, you are good. You stand here. You, yeah. So Allah will filter the women in the heaven of Allah and in the, in the hell. From the hell, he will choose the most desirable front passages. 
Are you there? You are saying I'm making things up. Are you insulting your prophet or what? So Allah will ask all the women to take off their panties and their breast is showing and Allah will choose the like your nipples is not good. You go, you go back. No, you go back. Yeah, you come here. Show me mm, your nipples. Um, yeah, okay. Your breast touch them jump jump boing 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 uh, your boing is better than the other boing you go okay you will go to heaven you will serve a brother Abdul this is heaven and then your prophet he don't stop there I mean there's because there's requirement for this heaven in Islam you cannot go there just like this so Allah he promised you that your private part will never <laughs> I mean, this is so beautiful. In different hadith, he promised you endless one. <coughs> and you are sorry for me, I will go to the hell. You are right, a prophet like this will send me to hell. This is hell. This is the devil trying to seduce us by vagina and penises. This cannot be God. God is not a pimp. God is not a pimp. Al Mahdi is saying, What's wrong with that? Those messengers are messengers of Jesus. Okay, hold on. You see, the Quran says that they are messengers of God, they are not just messengers. I can send you with, uh, like, a, a postman is a messenger. This is not the Quran saying. The Quran says that those they made miracles, even they made people resurrect from death, they made the blind see. They brought a dead person back to life to show them miracles. If Jesus gave them the authority to do such miracles, that means Jesus is God. If Jesus sent me, and in the name of Jesus, when, who is, guys, when I go in the name, if Jesus sent me, who I will speak in the name of who? People. If I, if Jesus sent me, I'm speaking in the name of who? In the name of Jesus. right that's it so they are going to speak in the name of Jesus but yet by the name of Jesus they can bring people from death how that can be unless Jesus is God And that is in total agreement with Matthew 28 19 go and teach and preach in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit you Muslim you just confirm that Jesus must be God for how a messenger sent by a man if Jesus is just a man okay a man he sent me to deliver a message how I can do a miracle how I can make the blind see I'm just a man and he's a man egg roll guys egg rolls is a Muslim he have a brain you're telling me mr. brain as long as you have a brain what kind of God he promise you in the heaven something like this Are you there, Mr. Brain? In the heaven, brother, you will have a bracelet and you will be wearing clothes. And those clothes are made from uh, silk and they are green. Are you there? This is God's promise. In the heaven, Allah will give you little, boy, little boys to serve you. And they are like pearls, they are so white. Is that true? You have a brain, right? In the heaven, you will be reclining over a couch.
the funny by the way that in the heaven of Allah everybody is wearing a green my god is a devil why why even your even your religion says Jesus is the holy chapter 19 verse number 19 my god is Jesus the Quran says he is holy shame on you to lie about your religion if Jesus is holy, how he can be evil? My God is Jesus. Any Muhammadan? The Muslim, they say to you, how Jesus can be born of a woman, private part, and he is God? Well, I ask you the same question. How Jesus is born of a private part, as you say, but yet your Quran call him holy? Hypocrites, you remember when he what he is born, where he's born from, what do you want? But you cannot explain to me why he's holy. What make him holy? What make Jesus holy? Only God is holy. Are you speaking against your religion now? Who want to tell me why Jesus is holy? And by the way, he is a son. He is a holy son. Son of who? I want to send you a holy son. So Jesus, according to the Quran, he is a gift from God to mankind. Okay, what is that gift? Holy son. Son of who? Who is the father of Jesus according to Islam? Who is a Muslim? Want to tell me? Who is the father of Jesus according to Islam? They have no answer. No, he cannot be the son of Mary. The Quran says, call them by their father. You cannot call him son of Mary. That's a stupid of your God to say so. Isn't it the Quran says, what do you be by him? Call them by their father names. Okay, Jesus is the son of who? Who is the one who made Mary give birth to Jesus? Give me the answer. The one who made my mother give birth to me? Is my father is that fair guys the one who made my mother gave birth to me carry a child and that supposedly is me he is my father whoever he is okay who is the one who made Mary carry a child the answer is God so who is Jesus son of God even in your stupid cult <laughs> Even in your stupid cult, he is son of God. Who is the father of Jesus in Islam? Give me the name. Everyone is born, he have to have a he have to have a father. Even the Quran says, and we made it from lineage and marriage, from sperm. And by the way, in this verse, the Muslim they claim. That a Muslim man he can have sex with his daughter if she is a daughter from adultery, chapter 25, verse number 54. How a human being is created? The first one was from mud, sperm, then a sperm. After Adam, every human being is a from a blood or marriage, which means from you know, from your father, you have your father have sex with your mother, and this is where you are coming from. This is the Quran. So Jesus is from where? From heaven. What was Jesus before he became Jesus in Islam? A word of God, the word of God. Then Adam was a, great, a greater because he does not have a father. Huh. That's a stupid of you, my friend. Because Adam was a created, Jesus is not, according to your Quran. According to your Quran, Jesus is the word of God. Adam is not. Allah, he made mud, and then he fashioned the mud, and then he breathed into the mud, and then he took down for the mud to become a human. Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary, and the word of God never created. According to Islam, never created. According to Christianity, 
never created for God is his word God and his word is one so you admitted that Islam is a stupid cult how you say that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary which means he was a word before he became Jesus as a man this is confirmed what John chapter 1 verse 1 says and verse number 14 the word was with God and the word was or is or was the God okay and then the word became a flesh verse number 14 and this is exactly what the stupid Quran says that Jesus the word of God became a flesh where was Jesus before he came to us as a human according to Islam he was in heaven what he was he was the word of God <clears throat> if you ask a Muslim where was the word of God? Is it the creator? They will say no. Actually, Muslims, they kill anyone who believe that the word of Allah is a created. The second you believe that the word of Allah is a created, you are a kafir. But the Quran is so clear. It says that the Messiah, and look, just to show you how silly the Quran is, the same verse rejecting the Trinity is the same verse confirming Islamic Trinity, not our Trinity. Look what the Quran says. The Muslim they say to you, how three can be one? Ha 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 ha. How? Okay, read with me. It's in the front of you. Your city Quran says three is one. Jesus is a three and one in the same time. He is a messenger. Okay. As what? As a man. That's wonderful. And he is the word. So he's a man and he's a word in the same time. Okay. And he is bestowed in Mary, which means he's sent down from heaven down to earth. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. Jesus is three in the same time. The word, the man, spirit, three in one. Do you see it? And by the way, this is not our Trinity. This is your Trinity. The same verse says, don't say Trinity. It's the same verse confirming Trinity in Islamic way. We as a Christian, we believe that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the three person, one God. You just confirm here. That you can be one person according to the Quran in the same time you are a spirit you are a man and you are the Word of God and if we ask Muslims is the Word of God the created they will say no according to the Quran Jesus never been created if we ask Muslims is Jesus dead they will say no that's mean the Word of God never die Almost they might say to you, okay, if Jesus is the word of God, then how he die? The flesh die. God never die. This is why we say resurrection. What resurrection? Reunite between the body and the spirit. Nobody can kill God. God is a living God. So they killed the flesh, but they did not and they cannot kill God. That's why Jesus said, you destroy this temple, I will rebuild it in three days. He was talking about his body. And this is why the Muslims, when Muhammad he died, they did not bury him for three days. Because they thought he is the same as Jesus. He will come back to life. He told them that the ground does not eat the bodies of the prophets. They believed him and later they discovered that he is a liar he stink and we showed you the reference and here by the way Muhammad by saying such a statement he claimed that all a prayer of Muslims will be given to him in the grave what does that mean you are dead or alive and I thought the, the prayer of a believer will go to God not to a human how a human can read all the messages Imagine you have one more than like a, a billion something and uh, add to them the one who died since 14 years ago. All the prayer of those people will be placed in the front of Muhammad. We have uh, we have a Muslim, his name is a free hoot. He's saying, I uh, know, maybe he's answering a Muslim. Any Muslim, who's the Muslim saying to me, I'm a coward? Call me, my friend, call me right now. I'm live on air. 
the coward is the one who don't dare to call us the coward is the one who a man he said to him I like your wife I want to sleep with her and then Muhammad he said to him but this is the mother of the believers Aisha she was surprised how Muhammad answered he was a very coward the guy he just insulted him he said I want to sleep with your wife and then Muhammad he said to her after he left she said to him who is this guy who says such a thing to you he said innahu ahmaqun muta'ah he is a fool we have to obey which means if he insists to take you we will give you to him I do not know my Bible okay guys a Muslim says you do not know your Bible it's your God who do not know anything about Christianity the God of Islam he think the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah according to Islam Allah he married Mary and they have a baby his name is Jesus that is the your God Allah he earned a certified stupid uh, 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 degree in PhD in stupidity How how uh, how Mary, according to Islam, became in the Trinity? What happened? What do you say? There is no Christian worship, Mary. What the Trinity? This guy is talking about. Your God in the whole Quran could not find what the Trinity is. Nowhere in the Quran it says. What the Christians believe, all of it's wrong information. So you are saying, I do not know my Bible, or Allah, who do not know our Bible. How Allah is God, yet He do not know what the Christians believe. Ah, we have a Mirza, he's saying to us, Quran is perfect, let us have fun. Hey Mirza. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? So what you said to me, the Quran is perfect? Is the Quran is perfect? Yes, I'm going to show you, brother. Give me a second. Okay. I'm outside. Guys, Mirza is going to show us. Hold on. Wait, I'm outside. If you give me a second, I go inside, you know? Uh, go. Hey, brother. Okay, no problem. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What do you want to show us? You said Islam is perfect. Quran is perfect. How is that? Is that a yes, joke? Is that a, is that a comedy? Sure. Are you serious? Brother, Quran is perfect. The Bible, what we have today, is not perfect. Mm. So why the Quran says that the the, the Quran confirmed the Bible? Well, it just in Jew it doesn't say Bible. Bible means uh, books. It just means books. No, it says in that. Jews. No, it says that. Hold on. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Huh? It's speaking about the Gospel and about the Torah. It says Injil, Injil, even Injil, in Injil, Jesus Injil. By the way, why Allah? Why Allah? He used the word Injil. Is your God Allah is stupid or what? The word Injil is a Greek word. How Allah? How Allah? He says that Jesus was sent to the Jews, but the name of his book is a Greek. Wait, what? How Allah used the word Injil? Injil is a Greek word. If Jesus was sent to the Jews, why his book is called by a Greek name? You know why? Why? Because the translation was lost during the time. And what so lost? Allah is spoke. using the word Injil. What does this have to do with the translation? He called it Injil. Yes. Why Allah called it Injil? This is a Greek word. Let me explain, brother. Explain. Go ahead. Time, even during that time, all the way there, we don't have the original Bible. We have the translation from. This is not the, the question. Language. This is not the question. Allah He sent to Isa a book. It's called Injil. How he sent it, it's called Injil. Allah, he sent him a book. It's called Injil. Injil is a Greek word. Muslims believe that Isa was sent to the Jews. Kim. And the Quran says Allah, Allah sent messenger only to the language of his people. All right? So Isa, if he is a sent for the Jews, should he speak what language? No, no, no. Listen, listen, brother. It was Hebrew. Okay, it was Hebrew. So the book is Hebrew, but the title is... Greek 
Because the people, the Bible was lost. They didn't have the original. This is Bible not a question. Bible. This is not a question, idiot. I'm asking you, lost or not, Allah He sent him a book I and He called it Injil. Man. Why He called it Injil? If the book is Hebrew, Allah called it Injil. Why? Because the people were known and uh, were like they only knew the Greek word. Because so they are you saying to us? Are Mexicans. you saying that Allah He gave a wrong That's name, right. fake name, a wrong name? What Allah called us called it Injil. Okay, so Allah is using the guys. Allah he is using the fabrication in name not not the real name But that's mean he's a fabricator. He's saying I send this book to him What stuff Allah, okay, did Allah says I send down the injil or not? Don't don't sleep he hang up He hang up Actually, the Quran confirmed that the Quran is a book of lies. Look at this verse. O people of the book, why you dispute concerning Abraham? The Torah was not sent down, neither the gospel, the Injil. Okay, hold on. Guys, did Allah say, I am the one who sent the Torah? No. Did he say, I am the one who sent the Injil here? No. He's saying was sent down. Why is why are you saying that? So he confirmed it is a heavenly books, but it's not by him. And look at the stupid logic. He's saying, Why you are disputing about Abraham if you came after Abraham? But isn't it Muhammad himself? He came at the end. Do you see how silly this is cannot be God talking? This is stupid. It's like you are standing in the line, and you two people are fighting about who is first. So there's a guy, he's a Jew. And there's a guy he's a Christian the Jew he said to the Christian uh, you know I, I am first because I'm a Jew the Christian he says no 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 you came after me the Muslim he came at the end and he says why you dispute if you both came after but you came at the end you are the last one so how this is can be God talking this is a logic of a stupid man you are the last one and look it says have you you have no reason are you stupid or what this is what he's saying do you have a brain so he's saying if you have a brain you should not argue because you came after abraham you are the one who came at the end hey, 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 yes, listen, listen. What, does... what do you want what does the word in jew mean how ah. allah how allah he says how allah he says how you dispute about abraham if you came after him, isn't it Muhammad came at the end? So that the verse here is saying the one who come uh, come after he cannot dispute about the one before him. This is what it says. The one who come next he can dispute about the one who come before. So how Muhammad dispute about Jesus, about Moses, about Abraham? So that's mean all the dispute of Muhammad is stupid, because he came at the end. Do you see the verse? Let me open it Wait one second. Hmm. So brother, so um, hmm. hello, hello, hello. What happened, by the way, for your shake? You told me last Friday he will call me. Now this is the second Friday he did not show up. What happened to him? He has no time to debate. Yeah, he have no time. Okay, answer, answer. Okay, go. So hello? how the one who came at the end he can dispute? How Muhammad he can dispute after saying this verse? This verse will shut up every Muslim forever because you have no right to dispute if you came after the Christian can dispute with the Jews and the Muslim can dispute with the Christians and with the Jews. This is what the verse is saying. Um, wait, what it says to people of the book? Why do you dispute concerning Abraham? What does the word dispute mean? Why you are debating about Abraham? Why you are arguing that Abraham belong, whatever, what he thought, if, as long as you came after him. So the one who came after, he cannot talk. He have no right to talk about Abraham. Okay. Muhammad came at the end. Oh. 
No, Muhammad no, came at the end. How Muhammad, how Muhammad will teach Allah. us about Abraham if he is the last one to come? The one who came after Abraham, he cannot teach about Abraham. Okay, so the Jews, they have no can right to teach about Abraham. The Christian have no right. So how Muhammad have the right? Okay, can I answer? Go ahead. So if you let me talk and not over talk me, you know, because you got a loud voice, I don't have a loud voice right now. Mm. You know, so it says that Abraham, he was before the books. That means that the laws, what are given in the books, weren't revealed yet. So he couldn't follow those laws that were revealed. So so people were judging him through those laws. Like, he, oh, he didn't do that law. But, but it wasn't revealed during what law, time. What law? What law? There's no Quran saying anything about the law of Abraham. Don't be stupid. Don't mix things up. And where is the book of Abraham in the Quran? I, Abdul, don't mix things up. I'm asking you. It says here, how you can dispute if you came after him. The logic is very simple. The one who came after, he cannot debate with the one who no. came before him. Correct? This is what the logic is. The one who came first no, it's cannot be the one who came next or second or last. He cannot debate with the one who came before. Do you agree with the verse? No, because if that was the verse was saying that, that, that uh, the verse would say, "Oh, people, why, why do you dispute concerning Abraham?" It wouldn't say Torah and it says uh, what? gospel. It says what? Just go, man. Just send me, send me, just send me an adult for God's sake. Stupidity. Just try to make things up, just to talk, but say nothing. The verse is so clear. How you can dispute about the one who came? Be, you know, you came after him. What is the reason they cannot dispute? Because they came after him. Okay, and what came after him? The gospel and the Torah. Okay, so how somebody have a Torah? And somebody have a gospel cannot dispute with someone he didn't have a book because the Quran, when Muhammad was talking, he didn't have a book yet. This is why the Quran call us people of the book, and this is why here we we laugh again because if we don't have a book, how you call us people of the book? You see the Muslims because they are crazy. They say to us the Bible is corrupt. Okay, so why the Quran call us people of the book? I mean, this is the stupid name ever, like saying the guy with the hair and he have no hair. Okay, we lost our hair. The guy is bald. You keep calling him the guy with the hair. So either we are the people of the book, and our book never corrupt, then we can, we can, we deserve the name. By calling us people of the book, you just admitted that we are the ones who have the books, not you. Same time, by using such a logic, the one who came at the end, he cannot debate us. This is how silly, stupid Muhammad is. Uh, anyway, guys, we are going to be live on air again in about two hours and a half. So I need to rest my voice a little bit. Uh, I will be with the brother uh, David Wood and Sam Shamoon. Uh, and I think they have already a link for it. I will post it. We will be... Uh, here we go. He announced it in his page, Brother David. The truth about Muhammad, the Christian Prince, Sam Shamoon, David Wood, live 8 p.m. So if you are uh, uh, if you are up, you can join us there. And later I will download the videos and share it in my channel too. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and Quran miracle is nothing but a fraud. Quran is a book of errors and stupidity. And only fool, they can trust such a book. Only. God is not a pimp who provides us women for sex. And that's supposed to be heaven. Or boys, child abuse, even in heaven. Slavery, even in heaven. That is not God. The Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. To judge Islam, go and read about the fruits of Muhammad. His profession is a thief and a criminal. His wife was a child. He made it legitimate to hire women for sex. He allowed people to kill and take and steal the money of others. He said you can lie in three cases, to your family, to your friends and your enemies. Who is left? He said that Allah, he forced us to commit adultery. Allah, he forced us to commit sin. Allah choice, not your choice. It was Allah, destiny. So what the point of this religion?
He said that you go to heaven not because you did good deeds, but because Allah He created people of heaven when they are in the seeds or in the in the backbone of their father. Muhammad he believed too in the Quran that all of us we are coming from the backbone of a man, and the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Endless stupidity, and we mention nothing today, not even one percent of the stupidity of this cult. Join us again after two hours and a half from now for the brother David and Sam Shamoon. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Bye bye.